now when we are combining the uniform flow as you can see in the figure okay see in the figure now you know here we are going to represent in terms of polar coordinates first here all the terms which we are seeing in terms of theta and r we are representing in terms of polar coordinates okay so for the polar coordinates for a uniform flow okay and we are using the psi function mostly as i said we are using the psi function the main reason of using the psi function to represent the flow is a 2d flow represent in by default whatever the thing we are representing it is a two dimensional flow okay now this is the v infinity r sin theta for the uniform flow and for the source flow we can obtain that Uh, that is a uh, strength by two pi into theta. Okay. Now from here you know the psi. When I compile this one together, so we can get this equation. Then we compile this. Now from here, what you have to obtain? You have to obtain the radial and the tangential one. Now how we can find the radial and tangential one? Again, you have to use this formula. That is, B R equals to one by R do psi by do theta. Okay. Then you substitute the psi value, this psi value. Okay. And partially differentiate with respect to theta. You will get this expression. Okay. So either, either you uh, remember this final this B R value. Or you know how to differentiate it, okay? Partially differentiate it because it is very important. Next, to obtain similarly for the tangential flow, you have to use this formula, and when you use, you will get this v minus v infinity sine theta. Now, this formula sometimes it will be useful when they ask to find out the uh, maybe the velocity. Now, how you can find out the velocity, the resultant velocity? You have to substitute the corresponding values of over here, right? After that, you have to find v r and v theta, then root over of v r square plus v theta square. So when you substitute that, you will get the result, resultant velocity. Now, next point is how to find out the stagnation point. To find out the stagnation point, whatever the value you are getting, that is a v r and v theta, you need to equate to zero. You need to equate to zero to find out the stagnation point. Always the v r and v theta has to be zero. If we have to put v r and v theta equate to zero, okay? Let's find consider the v r equal to zero. Okay? So I can write v infinity cos theta. Equals to minus lambda by two pi r. Okay. Then from here this is minus. Then next is we have v theta equal to zero means which is equals to minus v infinity sine theta. Now when I am doing v zero equals to minus v infinity sine theta. I cannot consider the v infinity. Either I can consider zero and psi infinity theta equal to zero. But do you think this is a feasible one? The free spin velocity is zero. It's not a feasible or the possible one. So I cannot take v infinity equal to zero, right? We can't take that. But we can consider the v sine theta equal to zero. If the sine theta equal to zero, then what will be the theta value? What will be the theta value? Can I say theta value will be also be zero? Zero. Yes. So I can consider that is a pi value has to be in terms of theta value has to be in terms of pi. And the stagnation point locations for an uh, cut, uh, for your polar coordinates represent by r and theta. So r means that is a strength. What you are getting that is a strength. To pi infinity, so we can get consider this theta value is very very small. So from there we can get r equals to okay, two pi infinity. So we take the magnitude. Okay, here we consider the magnitude of that value. So lambda by 
2 pi infinity is the that is the stagnation point so how you can find if they have given the value for the uh, strength the velocity you can find out the stagnation point all right so we will see look into some of the problems when we solve it will be much you will have the better clarity now next is a uniform flow with an source and sink okay uniform flow with an source and sink so when we are compiling see here do not get confused with an doublet flow but here we have a separate source and we have the separate sink now whenever we compile that with a source and sink okay source separate and the sink as i've said for the psi value the formula is i think uh, source theta will be there that is uh, pi theta okay and both their strength will be also be different until and unless they have claimed that their strength is same okay and but here in this condition in this given equation they have considered the strength of both the source and sink is same suppose they have asked that it is a different source and the sink is different so it will be like that that is psi equals to psi 1 plus psi 2 this is for source and this is sink then we have to write lambda 1 theta 1 by 2 pi since it is uh, always the strength is negative so lambda 2 theta 2 2 pi okay if it is different the strength is different then it will be lambda 1 theta 1 by 2 pi minus of lambda 2 theta 2 by 2 pi now here what they have considered the source and sink is acting uh, compiling with a uniform flow now when it is compiling with a uniform flow we get as a Rankine over we get an Rankine over okay we get an Rankine over so please again i am telling do not get confused with an doublet flow okay so when doublet flow when we are compiling that when we are using the word for doublet the doublet will have their own strength when the source and sink is compiled here they are giving it separately source separate sink separate okay. all right so when the source and sink and the uniform flow is compiled together we will have this flow over and rankine oval okay. now when we have the rankine oval we know this is the form we get from uniform flow this one is from the source flow and since they are negative as i've said they used to consider negative then this is for the sink flow this is for the sink flow when we compile we get this equation this is the equation right now what you have to find again again you have to find the radial and the tangential flow again you have to find out the radial and the tangential flow all here we are dealing with the polar coordinates so once you you have the psi value you have the psi value you need to use this formula you need to use this formula to find out the vr and v theta value vr and v theta value so you will get the vr and v theta value now to find out the stagnation point you have to equate to zero now you have to equate to zero now here both for the uniform flow with the source and sink and previously we have seen the uniform flow with the source now you can remember both the stagnation point will be same now if they have not asked you to do a kind of uh, kind uh, any other factors so you can remember both for the uniform flow with the source and the uniform flow within source and sink their stagnation point will remain same okay so that is r represents lambda 2 pi v infinity and theta will be this pi okay theta will be pi all right now in this condition 
they might also ask you one more question possible question that at this particular stagnation point if or you can say at the existence of the stagnation point okay what will be the stream function what will be the expected stream function so you know the stagnation point for which flow they are asking okay so suppose they are asking for the uniform flow and the source flow source and sink so what you can do is you can you know this equation that is the function stream function for an uh, uniform flow with a source and sink substitute the value in place of theta that is a pi value in place of r that is a lambda 2 pi v infinity substitute that whatever the equation you will get that will be the stream function okay similarly you can also Uh, they can also ask you to find out the velocity function now if i have to write the function in terms of velocity function what will be my value v infinity r cos theta plus now here we have theta 1 in case of source and sink what is the formula lambda by 2 pi ln r 1 because let me consider the radius of that will be different 1 minus 10 minus 2 pi by ln r2 right this will be the equation now here also you can the same factor here you know the r value theta value if they find so you can find out okay so they can ask instead of the stream function they can also ask the velocity function now these are some of the significant factors that uh, that you can found okay that how or what will be the uh, distance that means here this is a source okay this is the point source is marked and this is the point where the flow is getting stagnant this is the flow the flow is getting stagnant and the distance between this two the okay, distance between this two is the r that is a lambda by 2 pi v infinity lambda by 2 pi v infinity now here what will be the impact the change of this phi okay if the phi changes what will be the y value y value means that from here to here okay at some point this is a y now based on the change in theta what will be this y value okay so they can ask such kind of questions okay so if the theta the y is maximum when the theta value is zero and what is the formula formula is y max equals to just consider here they have given q that is the lambda by 2 v infinity lambda by 2 v infinity we can find out the y value okay now as we change this theta value as we change the theta value the y value gets also changed now y value get also changed now is this clear to all of you is this clear to all of you how we got this y value is this clear Um, can you explain the y value again now? All right. As I said, this y value, what they are doing is first, there is actually big derivation is there. Okay, I am not. I am just telling you what is the procedure. Now you have the string function, string function of some values that is a v infinity r sine theta plus lambda two pi of 
theta 1 minus theta 2 some values are there right now what we are going to do is we have the stagnation point that is uh, r value is known is lambda by 2 pi b infinity and theta value is also known is a pi now when you are substituting this uh, your stagnation points over there okay when you are substituting the stagnation points there will be some standard formula okay standard formula something like that mm, it's usually you get this formula infinity 1 minus theta by pi okay. there is kind of derivation are there or you can say uh, numerically it has been proved okay so why so in case of when theta is 0 okay when you substitute over here theta is 0 you can see the formula theta is 0 over here then theta means what can i say theta means uh, 0 means pi so if i have to write pi what will happen right it will become 0 so you will the remaining term is lambda by 2 infinity lambda by 2 infinity sorry theta is already given 0 how it can give pi Lam theta is already 0 so 0 something by something you get 1 minus of 0 so lambda by 2 v infinity so you get that is a maximum condition now you use the same formula when the theta is pi by 2 now here you are applying th in place of theta pi by 2 so pi pi will get cancelled we will have 1 by 2 so you will get this equation so that means when theta is pi by 2 the origin above the o that means coordinate above the origin that means this is a Rankine cycle or Rankine oval so it means the point okay that means theta is somewhat here now when you find it's starting from zero here okay it's starting from the left side of the panel so zero means here then gradually you're going 90 degree that means the location point will be here now when you're going the next point that is 180 degree the point will be here okay it will be the source that this point will be ahead of the source now when you find the 270 degree okay that means this point the cross mark which I made is below the source okay and the B point where I made a cross the B point where I made a cross the source is at the rear part of the source okay this point is a rear part of the source it is just a location where this P point will be located that means this is the Y this is the Y at what direction we are taking considering we changing with theta value changing with theta value so here we don't need to remember the derivation just remember the formula here to find out the uh, y value that is y equals to lambda 2 v infinity 1 minus theta by pi just remember that okay yes then next we have a non lifting flow over the circular cylinder now this flow only exists when we consider the combination of the uniform flow and the doublet flow when we are compiling the uniform and doublet so there is a difference between uniform and dub, uh, uniform doublet and which we have seen before that is a uniform flow plus source and the same okay when the combination of uniform source we get an one kind half body or you can say semi infinite body when we are compiling uniform plus source plus sink we get as a one kind over now when we are compiling the uniform flow with a double f flow we get a flow over a cylinder okay and very important thing is it is a non lifting flow okay non lifting flow and we can produce a lifting flow only when with this flow when we come uh, or we can add a vortex flow when we add a vortex flow then only we can generate a lifting flow over a circular cylinder 
now here we are seeing only only for a non lifting flow over a circular cylinder how we can get when we compile the uniform flow with a doublet flow now again we are going to see in terms of stream function so stream function for an uniform flow is d t t r sin theta for the doublet flow minus k2 pi sin theta by r okay so when we compile this two equation we get this equation it is v infinity r sin theta minus k2 pi sin theta by r now this is a string function we achieve now from here what you have to find you have to find out the vr and v theta so how to obtain vr that is 1 by r do psi by do theta and minus do psi by do r will give tangential velocity now you know the phi value when you differentiate that you get this two equations now one more very important thing here we have taken a small assumptions okay because here we have some terms of k by 2 pi sin theta by r so this can be also represent in this way that is psi equals to v infinity r sin theta we have to keep or represent as a common terms then 1 minus capital r square by small r square where capital r square represents k by 2 pi v infinity Two pi k by two pi v infinity. So if you have to, if you want to ignore this equation, if if you feel complicated, you can ignore it. But you have to remember this equation. Now when you resolve that equation again, you will get something like that. But if you don't take it this consideration, this one, the equation gets more complicated. The equation gets more complicated. so remember you need to remember the vr value and v theta value or you should able to find out how to find or uh, find this vr and v theta now again after finding the vr and v theta you need to find out the stagnation points you need to find out the stagnation points okay now since here the non lifting flow over a circular cylinder here you need to remember second important point is here you will have the two stagnation point okay here in this kind in this non lifting flow over a circular cylinder previously we have seen only we have one stagnation point but here we have the two stagnation point one stagnation point will be r of when theta is 0 and r is pi okay r is pi that means zero means this is a point they are considering zero okay this is a point that is a point they are considering zero another point they are considering here as zero this is a b point okay when a point that is a theta is zero b point that is a pi theta equals to pi okay and what is r r represent that is a this value capital r what they have taken this k by 2 pi v infinity root over if i what is mean by r r means root over k by 2 pi v infinity this okay. is velocity that is r now if the small r and the capital r is same and theta equal to 0 you will get this is one of the statement if you substitute the small r equals to capital r okay and theta equals to pi then you will use this formula and you will get the pi value is zero now from here what you have to find again the stagnation points what you have to find out the stagnation point you have to set the vr and v theta equal to zero vr means radial velocity and the uh, tangential velocity has to be zero when you substitute another important statement that you can bring to an conclusion that that dr is equal to zero 
and b theta becomes that is a tangential force becomes minus 2 b infinity sin theta minus b infinity sin theta this is one of the another important statement here so you can say in a non lifting flow over a circular cylinder where you are compiling the uniform flow and the doublet flow the radial velocity is zero okay radial velocity at the attention point the radial velocity is zero and tangential velocity is obtained to be as minus 2 v infinity sin theta now here we will find one more thing is at cp okay coefficient of pressure now what is the coefficient of pressure formula that is cp equals to 1 minus v by v infinity okay so v infinity is there v we got in place of v we are going to substitute v theta okay v theta we got minus 2 v infinity sin theta okay now when you substitute that you will get this equation you will get this equation that is cp equals to 1 minus 4 sin square theta now from this particular uh, equation you can expect a problem or you can expect the significance all right now uh, before moving to the significance let's see how the cp ranges now here in the cp ranges from the maximum is 1 to the minus 3 so it is from the positive 1 to minus 3 and what is the change or the nature as the theta changes okay as the theta changes so your cp value will also change and it can hardly move with the range of plus 1 to minus 3 Plus one to minus two. Okay, and this is only satisfying for an maximum velocity when we can obtain for an maximum velocity. Now this is the significance. How this pressure, uh, the coefficient, the pressure value changes with theta. Now as I said, what is the formula? C P equals to one minus four sine square theta. Okay. If the theta value has to be zero, okay, then what we'll get the CP value becomes one. Okay, CP value becomes one. Now, as we increase the theta value, what do you see? Now thirty degree. Now here we are not going to find in terms of radian because here we have some term with sine. Okay, if we have some terms of sine, we are not going to change that in terms of theta. where we have only the representation with theta alone then only we will change the theta value or the degree in terms of radian okay so in the gate density types they can give in such a way that suppose if you are not converting in terms of radian you can get some kind of expected value okay so you have to be very careful with this point if they have some kind of sin theta or cos theta tan or uh, cosine whatever it is so you no need to convert in radian but if you have the theta value alone okay then you need to consider that you have to convert in terms of radian now whatever kind the problems it might be consider this will be the global fact for whatever the problem comes Okay. All right. Now here they have given the theta value is thirty. Just substitute that value and get is zero. That means what it says that when your uh, theta value is moving to an thirty degree, the CP there will be a CP value will be zero. Now gradually as we move to ninety degree, what you can find this is for the when you substitute the value you get as minus that means this is the ultimate value this is the ultimate value okay this is the ultimate value that is a when uh, or you can get this statement also that at what point in an a non lifting flow over a circular cylinder at what degree or what uh, theta value 
we will have the list pressure okay we will be having the list pressure and the answer will be the 90 degree okay and if they ask the maximum or the maximum it can often is if either it has to be 0 degree okay or it has to be 180 degree that is a maximum occurs and do not forget at what condition this is a non lifting flow over a circular cylinder okay and if they ask at what point the pressure coefficient will be zero so you can say the pressure coefficient will be zero at 30 degree and 150 degree okay. 30 degree and 150 degree and when i say this 30 degree and 150 degree that is at the front half of the cylinder okay that will be the front half of the cylinder when i consider the rear half then again i have to consider the <coughs> remaining part of the angles So, they can also give you some kind of schematic diagram, okay. So, here, as I said, this is the T, right, from here to here is 150. So at this point here the CP value will be 0 ok at this point the CP will be the least value that is minus C value ok both Alright, now here the CP value over here is 1, that is a max value. Here also we have the CP max. Okay. And one more thing. When we consider that, the equation you can also rewrite in this form. Also, you can rewrite in this form. They can also indirectly ask whether P infinity minus T Q infinity will be same. What is Q? Q is a dynamic pressure. So they can ask in this statement also, okay? Because you know P naught minus P infinity by Q infinity is nothing but CP, okay? From here they have derived this form, okay? From here they have derived this form. So there are lot many ways they can ask. Alright. Next, the final flow we have is a lifting flow over a cylinder. Lifting flow over a cylinder. Now we can say this statement in two ways that when there is a combination of lifting flow, non-lifting flow over a cylinder plus the vortex flow okay? or we can say it is a combination of uniform flow plus double edge flow plus vortex flow. When there is a combination of uniform flow, double edge flow and the vortex flow, we get a lifting flow over a cylinder. Okay. So when there is a implementation of vortex flow, there will be some kind of lifting force. That means there is some existence of the circulation also. Now when we compile that equation, so what we get, now first we this is the value which we have obtained 
from non lifting flow over a circular cylinder plus the vortex flow here we are finding in terms of spin function so as i said remember this term said then minus we have again theta ln r so here is our vortex and here is the strength so we are finding all right so remember this equation again now after once you find out the strain function so you have to find out the radial flow same principle radial flow and tangential flow all right radial flow tangential flow from that if you have to bring to an stagnation point you have to equate to zero and when you equate to zero you get this is the value you can see that is vr and v theta value okay vr and v theta value okay so from that you can find the theta value is sin inverse of minus lambda by 4 pi v infinity r okay v infinity r again what is r value do not forget the r value that is a k by 2 pi v infinity r equals to root over k uh, by 2 pi v infinity all right do not forget the value of r all right now here mostly what kind of question they ask they will give you the given data that is what is uh, uh, circulation what is the free stream velocity and what is the um, that is the value of r value they will be giving you or vice versa from that you can find out the theta value other way is also there they will give you the lift because the lifting flow over a cylinder that means here there will be some amount of lift lift which will be created there is one formula of the lift over here so yes this is a formula of lift okay so remember the formula that is the circulation by rho v infinity okay now can i write this theta value like this theta equals to sin inverse of minus cl that means this terms represent cl right so cl by 4 pi so theta can also be represent like this if they have given the value in terms of cl we have to use the this value if they have given the circulation we find use this formula okay similarly you can use the same as cp cp formula is same v value is this is the v value you obtain you get 1 minus of minus q sin theta minus cl 2 5 so sometimes they can also represent in terms of cl instead of using lambda r v infinity lambda v r infinity now this condition excuse me yes am um, is this only like uh, the coefficient of lift or the lift mo cl ni there coefficient of lift coefficient of lift cl okay exactly coefficient of lift okay 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 coefficient of lift okay now here one more thing like previously uh you might have a question that here which v will be considered which v shall be considered so here we are considering the tangential velocity here we are considering the tangential velocity all right not the radial one because we know here the radial velocity is zero okay here the radial velocity is zero So here, when we consider the lifting flow over a circular cylinder, when implementing this formula, we are utilizing the v theta value. Okay. Now, from this statement, from this theta value statement, we can bring out 
three different considerations okay there are kind of three different considerations okay now either there are, what is the condition that uh, circulation this can be also written as circulation by 4 pi d infinity r okay circulation by it is a theta value of the sine inverse of minus of 4 pi d infinity r okay now uh, so i can say that means i can say sin theta equals to minus 4 pi 3 into r now we will see based on this equation how the flow is possible and what are the number of stagnation point are possible and which is not feasible okay so the first case it says that when the uh, this we have this formation that is a lambda uh, that is a gamma 4 pi v infinity r is less than 1 if this value gets less than 1 the flow is valid okay the flow it can or it is we can say it is a possible flow and it consists of two stagnation points this consists of two stagnation points okay two stagnation points that is point one and two and that value will depends based on this formula so whatever the value you are getting when you substitute to find out the theta values now moving to the next case when we have gamma 4 pi v infinity r or equating to 0 or equating to 0 here we have only one stagnation point and here in this case it has to be one there is only one possible way of getting the stagnation point of theta here we are only considering the theta value okay to find out the theta value is minus pi by 2 it can be either we can consider minus pi by 2 or pi by 2 vice versa or this can be either plus or minus so either of one of the location you will have only one stagnation point when you have gamma by 4 pi v infinity r now this can also be written as coefficient of lift by 4 pi can also be present in this way now flow is completely is impossible okay or you can say the stagnation point will not even look it no longer look it okay when or when we say no meaning or no longer look it so when we have this gamma by 4 pi v infinity to r is greater than 1 that means it will not look at and this flow is not at all possible this flow is not at all possible all right this flow is not at all possible so you have to remember the three important statements so when it is equal to zero or when it is equal to one this particular statement or we can also represent that gamma equals to 4 pi b in r that means at this point only one point where the stagnation point uh, will occur and that can be either pi by 2 or minus pi by 2 that means either it can locate over here this is the location where you can see it is in the minus pi by 2 location or it can be even the the top uh, in the uh, top of the cylinder and vice versa it can happen okay and when we have the less than one okay uh, two points can possibly form two points okay so the two points we can only understand by substituting the equation but what are the two points will be acting on okay. all right
now here we have some problems uh, we can solve okay a simple all right now here also we can state in a same way that where the stagnation points will be zero where uh, so based on the problem statement okay we can also analyze that over a uh, particular uh, lifting flow over a cylinder where the stagnation point will be high so here you can see p infinity equals to p here it is around the minimum pressure point okay this is the minimum pressure point c point is the minimum pressure point both the a and here sorry not a both in the b points where free steam velocity will be same what is the a points a points are the stagnation points okay, these are the stagnation points so you can find what will be the expected angle and b point it represents that the minimum local pressure on the bottom surface and this is a minimum the list minimum or we can say the list pressure occurs okay at the top of the surface upper surface all right now do you have any questions till here do you have any questions till here we can clarify that did you understood all the flows mom yes ah i'm told that um, the lifting flow i could just uh, see mom uh, but uh, after the lifting flows i think i lost interest sorry <laughs> the last topic on uh, <laughs> i didn't concentrate yes, on sorry yes because it's all derivative uh, derivations kind of thing it's uh, really we have to remember all the formulas and uh, yes mom the really complete <laughs> after after the lifting flow mom after the inclusion of the vortex that thing alone i understood on which one which one later part uh, can you like tell me the inclusion slide? of the vortex uh, Like yeah. the non-lifting flow plus the vortex gives the lifting flow. Yes. Exactly. Only till this, I just got it clearly. Ma'am. After okay. that, uh, sorry, ma'am, I didn't concentrate well. Okay. Well, fine. So it's very simple. As we have seen, what you have to find, you have to find the V R value, that is a radial velocity, and the tangential velocity. How you can find? Same way, one by R, do psi by do theta. and here minus do psi by do r okay using you know this phi value phi value you differentiate you will get this equations okay will get this equation now second thing is you have to find the stagnation point how do you find the stagnation point you have to equate the vr equal to 0 and v theta equal to 0 to find out the stagnation point now using this formula we can get two statement one is this statement that is theta equals to sin inverse of minus lambda by 4 pi v infinity r one statement we are getting second statement we can obtain that is we can say that cp equals to 1 minus v by v infinity whole square we are going to substitute the value of v theta and we can obtain the cp value two statement we can form right we can obtain two statement and what i have said here here we are not going to substitute v r okay because here the main function is a vortex now vortex flow we have the radial 
function or the sorry not function radial velocity is zero radial velocity is zero but the tangential velocity exists so here when we are equating this equation sorry when equating this equation whatever the function we will get we are going to implement in the value of cp cp means 1 minus v by v infinity whole square so v will be here v theta not the vr but in case previously when we are doing for uh, uniform flow plus source flow they have there we have used the radial flow because that there the main importance was the source flow okay there there we have used the radial flow but here in the uh, like lifting flow over a cylinder here we will use the v theta that is a tangential flow okay so the simple derivation when you substitute that you will get something kind this kind of equations you have to remember now from that there is another derivation will be there we are not going into that much into derivational part that but the mind uh, final expression so there is a uh, coefficient of lift can be also termed in terms of circulation that is uh, uh, gamma by r v infinity so this equation can also be renamed in this because here we have the gamma by r v infinity so in place of that i have just written cl nothing much so similarly theta value also i have written in place of gamma v infinity r i can also rewrite the equation like this i can also rewrite the equation like this okay so here we have to remember the final expression and from here we can have the three possible cases when we have the flow uh, that is a uh, this factor that is a uh, gamma by 4 pi v infinity r is less than 1 equals to 1 and greater than 1 three cases are there in three different cases what will be the number of stagnation points where will be the location of stagnation points uh, where it will whether the flow can exist or it can't exist okay so when it is less than 1 there will be having two stagnation points as you can see over here in the figure existence of two stagnation point and that value will depend based on your functions that will depend based on your functions so i have shown here so what will be the expected function that is p not minus p infinity by rho infinity based on the function it will your cp will depend okay now similarly here uh next is when uh this one is equal to 1 this factor is equal to 1 so in this case if it is equal to 1 we'll have only one stagnation point and what will be the location of this stagnation point it will be either in the pi by 2 or pi Uh, minus pi by two, either plus pi by two or minus. That means either it can be located over here or located over here. Okay, so but any one of the points, but any one of the points. But in case when it we have greater than one, that is not at all feasible, not at all possible. It has no such meaning. Okay, it doesn't. consist of any meaning okay so uh, this is what the statement they are bringing to in conclusion all right so uh, yes mohan mohan yes please let me know uh, yeah yes ma'am yes ma'am how it's um, clear ma'am but it has to be revised again yes, i'll exactly. be doing it on yes and uh, um, so let me wind up the session over here today again we will have the next session on evening today evening right uh, 6 pm to 8 pm there we will have some couple of problems okay after solving the couple of problems okay i request all of you to note down the formulas that is very important uh, i hope you have noted down the formulas all of you uh so we will have some couple of problems after the problem solving we will move to the next topic okay next topic will be the air for nomenclatures configuration of the aircraft i will also discuss some of the configuration of the aircraft okay now uh because uh, it is a small topic from flight uh, mechanics okay 
so if you if i don't explain about the configuration it will be uh, not clear with the air cool section and the type and the requirement okay so we will have some more discussion with the types of uh, aircrafts and the configuration of the wing parameters and airfoil nomenclature uh, what are the series and application where which aircraft we can use and what are the factors we will discuss in the evening okay all right now anybody have any other Ma questions yes mohan tell me uh, last week uh, i mean like uh, this week there was a test on aerodynamics